In the given system of equations, h is a constant. If the system has no solution, what is the value of h? So we have these two equations here, equation 1 and equation 2. And we need to find a value of h such that the system has no solution. And a system has no solution when a system of linear equation has no solutions when the two lines are parallel to each other. So say something like this. And they're not overlapping, meaning like the y-intercept is different, but the slopes are the same. This means these two lines would never intersect, so they would never have a solution or a point of intersection. So we need to find some value of h that results in the two lines being par uh, the two lines being of s the same slope but different y-intersects intercepts. Okay, so looking at the first and second equation, we can see that we can make the left-hand side look similar to the right-hand side, left-hand side of this equation by moving this 4x to the other side. So let's do that. So we'll have 4x minus 9y from the first equation equals 9y plus 5. So then we'll move the 4x to the other side. So this way we'll have a negative 4x on this side and a positive hy, which will equal just 2 since we subtracted a 4x from both sides. Okay, so now let's just eliminate the x variable by adding these two equations together. We can do that since these are equations, that means these sides are equal, and since you're adding it equal quantities to both sides, you're not changing the equation. So it still remains true. So 4x plus minus 4x is just going to be 0. So that cancels out to 0. And then negative 9y plus hy. So we're going to have a negative 9y plus hy. Then we'll have a 9y on this side. And then we'll have a plus 7. OK, so now we can move all the y's to one side. So if we move the y's to the left side, we'll get negative 18y plus hy equals 7. So now we need to change this equation such that we get an equation that's not true. So we need to somehow cancel out the y's here. So we need to choose an h value accordingly so that this 18y gets cancelled out. And we can do that by setting h equal to 18. Because if we set h equal to 18, we'll get that negative 18y plus 18y is equal to 7. But these two cancel out. So we'll, the equation will result in 0 equals 7. And because we result in an equation that's not true when we set h equal to 18, this means that at an h value of 18, the equation has no solution. So h is equal to 18, and that's answer choice D.